Hi there, everyone. Welcome to episode 571 of the Mike from Maine show, the place where we do daily interviews with successful online entrepreneurs. This is your host, Mike Thomas, and today on the show, we have Shane Malah on, and we're going to be talking about a plugin that's going to help your WordPress websites suck in emails faster than ever before. Now, I don't get excited about stuff too easily. I look at a lot of software, a lot of courses, a lot of them excellent, but I have a special place in my heart for Shane's products. He puts out excellent software, and I personally use his software on MikeForMain.com every single day. So this isn't an exception. Uh, This is something that's going to allow you to put in opt-in forms all over your website. And that's, I mean, that's done. That's been done tons of times before. What this does is it's a way of doing it in a way that you can split test. You can go in and change it around. You can do it in the way that his software does it amazingly well. And I'm just going to show you really quickly before we jump in. I'm playing around with it already, and I've added a bar up here at the top. Uh, I've added in a sidebar here. Uh, If we go into this post, uh, let's just go in there and take a look at the bottom. You can see it adds a thing in here. What's cool about this, also there's an exit intent. Let's see if it works right now. You see that came up right there, and there's just... This And this isn't all it does. It actually does something else here where it comes in on the side if you want to. Um, I wouldn't recommend using all of them. But I, I'm excited about the fact that you can put all these on there. And let me go into the back ground here. Let's see if I can open that up. That's not what I wanted. One second. Don't worry. I'm going to show you this. We don't need to edit this. We can... Oh, wait, one second. There we go. I'm going to keep, I'm going to leave this raw right here. I like it. So let's go into the back end here. And I want to show you really quick before we jump in. And we're going to show this all inside of the, uh, in the interview. But you can also see the impressions and the conversions. Now, of course, there's no conversion so far, but I'm just adding this in here. I can see the ribbon at the top, how many times it's come up so far, the light box, the widget, the post footer, all of that. We're going to see how all that works inside the interview. Let's get into it. Here's Shane. We are here today again with Shane Mala. Shane, welcome back to the show. Hey, Mike. Glad to be back. Shane is with us today. Uh, he's from Bangkok, Thailand. So our internet connection might be a little bit slow. My apologies uh, there. It, will have, it doesn't mean that the software is slow that we're going to talk about today. It means that the connection is is slow so Shane why don't you tell us just a little bit for people who haven't caught our previous interviews a little bit about who you are and why you created the software that we're going to be talking about today yeah all right so I've been um, I've been involved in online business for the past I don't know five years or so and um, I kind of got into developing software solutions uh, because I was, you know, I started out building some niche sites and then started out, uh, started selling my own products. And for many things that I, you know, for many like marketing things I wanted to do for my own websites, I just couldn't find software tools that were, that were good enough for me or that, that did the things that I wanted to do. And that's how I started building my own uh, software at one point. Well, not, not really building my own, I'm not, a, I'm not a coder. But I have a team of people who who create software, and uh, yeah, well, it kind of that turned into my main thing, right? It turns out that we're pretty good at this. We have a, a really really kick-ass team now, and um, yeah, so that's our main thing. Thing, but it really started with you know my own marketing needs, um, the just the things that I read about, where I was like, okay, this sounds like a good technique, or this sounds like something I want to do. Started looking for for software solutions to, to implement something for my own business, to just grow my own business and just couldn't find anything that was good enough, ended up building it myself. And uh, it's still the case, right? Even though, I mean, we're selling marketing software and we're using our own marketing software to sell our marketing software as well. So uh, I'm still really building stuff for myself as much as for our customers. One of the things people 
always ask me with with doing daily interviews and talking about mm. products on a daily basis, I obviously cannot use every single course and every single so single software that we talk about on my show. Well, today is a little bit of uh, de definitely an exception here because every time uh, that you all come to MikeFromMaine.com and you're seeing my interviews and my reviews, I'm using a piece of Shane software uh, that we talked about before on the show. So right now you're, you're seeing Shane software uh, in action and today we're gonna be talking about a whole new different type of software uh, that's gonna help us to build our email list faster. Uh, on the sales page here, Shane, it says mm -hmm. new WordPress plugin, build your mailing list, faster than ever before and, and, and that's that excites me there the fact that uh, I, I know how important having an email list is to my business I've seen as my list size grows my my profits grow my reach grows my influence grows everything just grows along with that so tell us a little yeah. bit uh, about what this is uh, and how it's gonna help with our business and then we'll jump in and, and do a quick demo of it all right yeah so so thrive leads is basically taking the idea of a list building plugin for WordPress but taking it to the next level because well first of all you know this is this is our second time around doing this so before we were uh, selling hybrid connect which is no longer available but that was yeah I'd say one of the market leading uh, WordPress opt-in plugins mm -hmm. and but it had a lot more in common with all the competing opt-in plugins out there in that it was really just a technical solution to help you add some forms to your site and do some stuff you know some pop-ups or whatever to start getting email addresses and what we wanted to do is we just wanted to take that one step further because that's what everyone's doing right there's like a million plugins you can you can get to to add pop-ups or whatever some kind of form to your site to get an email address okay but really again you know for my own business I'm I'm quite far beyond where I'm satisfied with that mm -hmm. because the mailing list is so important. It is so incredibly important and it's also something I think it's actually quite underutilized. I think most people um, completely underutilize the potential of their website to build a mailing list and also under underutilize like the way they can communicate with their subscribers and the way they can turn that into business. Uh, there's There's just so much unused potential out there. And we wanted to build a plugin that bridges that gap. And the, the reason on the sales page we say this plugin, I even say in the video, this is not about building your mailing list. It's about building your mailing list faster, right? If you just want to build your mailing list, you can use a thousand other plugins. This is about building your mailing list faster. So the, just the basic technology where it's like, okay, I want to put a form on my site. That's just, we take that for granted. And I don't even talk about that basically, right? It's that's just the basis of the plugin is that you can create all kinds of forms, put them on your site. That's nothing special. The point of Thrive Leads is that it includes conversion optimization technology. So the idea is not just that you put a form on your site and then you get some emails. The idea is that you optimize your website so that your list grows faster and faster and faster and faster over time. And that... And also, we have um, features in here that let you create specific offers for segments in your audience so that you can basically have uh, highly targeted subsections of your audience that you can send highly relevant messages to, which basically, you know, what's the point of that? Basically means you make more money, right? That's how you make more money. You, you have a more relevant message that you send to the right people. So... Again, you know, all of the stuff that we want to do in our own business where we say, how can we make this work better? How can we build our list faster? How can we make the list more profitable? We've built that all into Thrive Leads, into the plugin. That's the point. So we've gone to the next generation of, of list yeah. building now. Instead of just focusing on the things that we were struggling, the problem before was how are we going to integrate these forms into our website? How are we going to make them look nice? Now the problem is, okay, we've integrated them and it's it's all in there now. How are we going to leverage our traffic so that we're able to build, to capture the most email subscribers from the amount of traffic that we have? Even because a lot yeah. of people that are just starting out, they're like, well, I don't have a lot of traffic. So if you don't have a lot of traffic, you need to be leveraging it as much as possible and getting the most yeah. subscribers out of that smaller amount of traffic, right? 
Yeah, and and you'd be amazed. You'd be amazed what a big difference it can make if you do this right. Okay, I mean, this is the kind of thing where, and you know, it's crazy to me. People, so many people talk, go on and on about in marketing how important your mailing list is, right? Um, basically, you, you can't get marketers to shut up about how important the mailing list is. I don't shut up it, about it. I mean, I'm sure right, that you, exactly. you talk about it too. <laughs> I don't shut up about it either, yeah. And that's because it's just so incredibly important. But then it's kind of absurd that we do that, right? But then we go, oh, okay, so the mailing list is super important. It's going to be like the term of the future of my life. So I'll put a form on my site. Okay, done. I walk away and I go and do something else. That's crazy. That is crazy because you can, you know, the difference that you can have between just I'm just going to put some form on my site and hope that people sign up and actually an optimized system where you show, you know, where you, where you run tests to figure out what actually works best, right? What kind of offer works best? What kind of headline works best? What kind of where should I show the form? How should it appear? And so on. Where you just keep optimizing that. I mean, the difference we're talking about you can easily, whatever, you know, even if you have a decent growth, you know, like a decent conversion rate and your list is growing, definitely you can double that, triple that, quadruple that with testing and targeting. So it's, you know, it's not a trivial thing. It's not about, oh, yeah, we built a plugin that builds your list 10% faster, right? We built a plugin that if a mailing list is important to your business, this, is, this will completely change your business. What kind of changes like are we talking okay let's say the traditional person out there and i don't know if you have the numbers to back this up but because i know you're a big number guy and you're not going to throw out just random numbers just to to sound yeah. to sound make it sound better but from your experience like most people like you said they'll even even me like I'll, I'll, on my website i've got my just form on the right hand side or actually i have a box it's a two-step opt-in where people click and then my opt-in form i've got a pop-up on there like i yeah. haven't optimize it the way the way I should let's say I go out there and I start testing it out and I start using your technology in order to do this what kind of results would be reasonably expected a 5% increase a 10% 20 like what's what's the normal increase I could potentially see uh, it's very hard to say right? it's very hard to say because it depends on on where you start out but but here's let me give you an example sure. right most people on if you just have a blog post that you published a while ago it's getting some traffic most people will see a low single digit percentage or even a 0. point something percent conversion rate from visitor to list on just like an average blog post right so you might be looking at 1% or 0. 0.7% or something like that and with if you combine uh, split testing, so testing different form types, testing different headlines and so on. And also, especially if you use targeting so that you're not just sh showing a generic opt-in form on this post, you're showing an opt-in form that is relevant to the content of that post. You can see that go up to 3%, 5%, 7%. I've, I've even seen examples where people have blog posts that get a 10 plus percent conversion rate to their list. Okay, just a blog post. So if you really took this, it becomes at some point, it becomes a question of, you know, how much time can you invest in this mm -hmm. and how, how much segmentation can you do? But theoretically, you could be across your entire blog on all posts, you could be looking at a 10 plus percent conversion rate, right? One in 10 visitors ends up on your list. Plus, you'd have them on very highly targeted lists, right? Because we're talking about making more relevant offers. So let's say you have a different offer or even just a different message for the same offer in each category on your site. Um, then you could also have different segments on your list or different lists that people go into, which means you can make more targeted offers, right? So if I have, I don't know, if I have a, um, like on the Thrive Themes blog, we have a category called conversion optimization, right? So it makes a big difference if I have a list of people who are interested in conversion optimization or just a list, you know, a big bucket of everyone who's ever come to the Thrive Themes blog, right? So it's not just, it, and, and because of this, it's very hard to say, um, you know, I, I can't really just give you a number and say, oh yeah, you'll double your conversion rate. It, it really depends on where you start out and how far you want to take it. But yeah, I think that's what I was, you know, because I've seen examples like this um, where, where, you know, literally you can like get a 10x increase in conversion rates from something like a blog post. So yeah, it's, there's a, that's why I was going on about how much unused potential is, sure. is still out there. No, definitely, definitely. And, and 
I, I've seen increases and just like doing it all by hand. I mean, you can go in there and you can you can add in different boxes and add in use different tools. But uh, let's take a look at what this does. And actually, where I, I noticed halfway through us talking that your screen is already shared. We don't even have you on the screen here. So go ahead and uh, oh yeah yeah go ahead and share. It's okay, not a problem. Go ahead and okay. uh, and let's, let's take a look. All right, so we're looking at the Thrive Leads dashboard right now, and um, let me just let me just quickly show two things. That like like we said, the internet connection here is great, so it'll probably be a bit slow. But I just wanted to show you two things to tie into what I was talking about so far. So I'm going to add what we call a lead group. Call it Mike Demo, um, and I want to show you two things here. So let's go in here, and I was talking about you know how you can create different forms. That's kind of a given, right? Oh, it's the wrong one. Here's a new one we created. So we can create, you know, a ribbon, a light box, a widget, a post footer, a slide in. We can also create short codes and two step light boxes and all that stuff. Um, that's, I'm not even going to uh, really go into that. But let's say I want to have a light box here. Click on add. And then I'm going to create a new light box. And a couple of things I can do here. So, first of all, I can go and edit the design again. This is kind of the basis, but we do have a really good editor uh, that I want to show you here if it loads this week. Yeah, so this is this is the Thai internet struggling with, uh, with uh, streaming and also opening this thing at the same time. Okay, here we go. So I've got a bunch of templates we could choose from, obviously, so I'm just going to pick one of these templates and, and load that. Um, but yeah, the cool thing is, so we have a lot of templates. We're also we're going to add more. So this is fairly early version you're looking at. Uh, we're basically going to have dozens of templates uh, for all kinds of purposes in here. And then we have an editor, which is really cool because, and you know, people who know Thrive Content Builder or landing pages, it's basically the same editor, which means you can just edit everything here. Um, so you know, if I want to change the text here, I just click on it and I start writing. Uh, there's no like, you know, I don't have to like open a box and then write the text there and save it and wait for the page to refresh and all that kind of thing. Thing I just edit things as I see them and the same. It's a drag and drop interface, right? So I can just drag stuff around, um, and you know, I have all my editing options for alignment and all that kind of thing, right? So it's a very cool editor that lets you basically change everything and anything about these forms the way you want. Now I've made this a bit ugly, so I'm just going to reset to default here. Um, but one yeah, thing you can, I, you can change. Love, one thing I love about it, sorry to interrupt you, Shane, is that you can you have the templates to work with, as in it kind of gives you the basic thing to set up with, and then you can go back mm -hmm. in and if you you have the ability to change it as well. So it's not like you are you're stuck with what with what you guys give us. It's like okay, here's here's exactly, our yeah. recommendation, but go for it and knock mm -hmm. yourself out. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to build the editor so that if you have an idea in your head about what you want a design to look like, you can make it with this editor, right? You're, there's, you're not limited. So you can have layouts, you can have images, background images, um, you know, change colors, all that stuff. But yeah, that's just like editor, drag and drop is just like what you see is what you get. Um, so that's pretty cool. So, okay, so we built the form. Uh, then you can also, and this is where things start to get interesting, right? So... There's a trigger setting where I can determine when does this thing show up. So I can say show it right when the page loads or show it after a couple of seconds and I can adjust this value, right? Uh, I can say, um, I can even add like a class or an ID to my post or page where I say trigger this light box exactly when the user hits this section of the page, right? Or I can make it more generic. I can say, well, you know, when the user scrolls 50% down the page, that's when I want to show the light box. And one of my favorites, we have an exit intent feature. We're so far the only plugin that does exit intent right because um, uh, it doesn't. The exit intent doesn't re-trigger all the time. It doesn't trigger when you go on the scroll bar. And most importantly, there's a mobile alternative, right? So exit intent, just in case people don't know what that is, is basically it detects when someone is about to leave your page if they're going to the back button or to the close uh, tab, right? So they're leaving the window. That's what triggers the light box. Now, on a mobile device, you can't do that because there's no cursor on the screen, mm -hmm. right? So what we have is a mobile alternative trigger where I can say, okay, if there's no cursor on the screen, open the light box after 10 seconds instead, right? Cool. 
Because otherwise, in most, basically in all other plugins that have an exit intent setting, you're just not showing your live box to any mobile visitors. And for many sites, that's now more than 50% of the traffic. So that's, that's just one way in which this builds your mailing list faster, right? And you mentioned, right, so let's you mentioned go with mobile, that. Shane, really quick. And this is yeah. a question I get from a lot of people. They always ask me, mm. is all of this mobile friendly? Does all, do all of these different things show up on mobile? And maybe you're going to answer mm. that in a minute. But I, I just, when, you, when you mentioned mobile, I want to make yeah. sure that we address that. Actually, yeah, no. Actually, that's one of the things. That, I mean, of course, right? You, cool. you can't possibly do something these days that isn't mobile responsive. So, yeah, of course. Okay, but now the interesting part. Now I've created a light box and I can show that somewhere. Okay, that's the basics, right? Here's where it gets interesting. I click on this clone button here and now I have an exact copy of this. And I can go back into the editor and make some changes or I can change the, um, I can change the trigger, right? So I can test different triggers against each other. Um, so let's say I want to show this one after three seconds or something, yeah? Um, and I can make another clone. So basically, I'm just cloning the, the same um, light box over and over again. And I could say, this one, I don't want to animate it with a zoom. Uh, I just want it to appear instantly, for example, right? So I can basically, I can make changes to the design, the content of the light box. I can make changes to, to the trigger to determine when it shows up, and I can make changes to the animation. And now I can start a test between these different forms, right? Mm. Uh, so I can start an A-B test and say, all right, you know, test one. Um, and I can add some notes if I want for like future reference. And I can also set it to use the automatic winner feature, which Basically, I, I add some parameters to say, okay, if we we want to wait for 100 conversions, we want to wait for at least 14 days, we want to have a 95% statistical significance, um, and then just automatically end the test and display only the highest converting form, which basically means I can start the test and walk away from it, and it will just automatically keep track of the data, and as soon as there's a clear winner, it will display the winning variation and close all the others. Love right? it, love it. Um, okay, and then I can start the test, and basically, as soon as I do that, it starts um, rotating between these different forms that I've just created, between the visitors, and tracking which one leads to the highest conversion rate. Um, and this is the testing engine we've built here is, um, I mean, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with what our developers put together here. This is basically an enterprise-level testing engine. Um, this is the best, most thorough testing engine ever to be included in a WordPress plugin. I'm absolutely convinced of that. Um, so that because you know the, the worst thing is if you have bad testing that gives you data that look you know it looks like oh yeah I found something that increases conversions, but in reality you're just being duped by by you know wrong data or or insufficient data or something like with that. So we engine, took a lot with of a, care. With such a powerful engine, mm. Shane, is it going to slow mm. my site down? Like that's the first thing I, I worry about. Like you're like, this is a powerful yeah. thing that's going to like really help us out. Yeah. But it's my site going to start, go down to a, to a, I don't know, sl a slow site. What's going to happen? No, no, this is, th this doesn't affect the, the front end of your site. Okay. Uh, you know, practically at all. I mean, all we do is, uh, all we do is, we basically count. But that's, you know, that's happening anyway. Essentially, there's there's virtually no speed impact. All of the, you can think of it like the whole engine that's working, is working in the back of your site, not on visitor page load. Right? Visitors right. who come and load content on your site are not affected by this at all. Got it. So yeah, that's nothing to worry about. So okay, so you can start these tests. Another thing I want to show you, if we go back here. Um, is we have these leak groups. So I put, um, I created a light box in this leak group. And the leak group is, you can think of it like a campaign. So I can have multiple different types of um, opt-in forms inside a leak group. And the point of the leak group is that we have these display settings where I can determine where I want these uh, to show up, right? Now, um, let me see. I can go, so yeah, I have targeting, t uh, targeting options. And I can have, I can create like a catch-all form and say, okay, show this on all pages, all posts, and so on. But where it gets interesting is where I can say, I want to show this 
only in, um, let's say, categories, only in my design category, right? So I make a specific form to show in the design category. And I can even take it further, right? I can add targeting. I can combine these targeting options. I can say, okay, show it in this, uh, in this tag and this category. And I can even add exclusions and say, don't show it if it's a, I don't know, if it's a landing page template, don't show it if it's this page type, whatever, right? So we have very, very detailed targeting options. And the point here is simply that um, by every factor known by WordPress, you can determine exactly how and where your forms are shown. Now, one of the cool things about this is that it's, it's retroactive, right? So even if you have a blog of 500 posts, you can create targeted offers that are shown in the right posts ar across your website um, you know, without having to go back and edit individual posts, right? So this is pretty powerful. And it also means that you can test across the entire traffic that you're already getting to your website, right? Uh, so these, these are some really powerful options. that's when your conversions go up too with, with specific offers. Let's say you've got a website and you are doing, yeah. uh, and with the examples here, you've got audio, photo, and design, and videos here. If, if you were going to do an offer and you were going to create a, a page, like interested in more posts about design, then exactly. sign in for this. And that's going to be much more... For, for people that are interested in design and they're going to be much more interested in signing up for that than if you just had kind of like a, a one-all uh, call to action for everyone on your site. That's, yeah. that's when things get interesting. That's when your convert conversions go way up. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So I'm actually going to reload this page, except that I foolishly started a test, so I actually don't know which trigger we're going to see, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay, it was the instant one. All right, so that was the test variation. One of the tests was show it instantly, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the one we got right on page load. It showed up. Um, but yeah, and so this is what the light box actually looks like on your site. Uh, that was just an example of that. So yeah, those are the two, or yeah, just two of some of the most powerful features in here are about how you can uh, set which forms to show where and how easily. I think this is also really important, right? It's not just that we have split testing, it's actually super easy to start a split test um, because that, that's something that was really important to me. I've used some tools over the years that are theoretically very powerful, but you end up not using their features because they're so annoying to use, mm -hmm. right? So it's very important to me that when we build something like this, that you're not, you know, you're not overwhelmed with a complicated interface and it's slow and confusing and weird. You just end up going, ah, I could split test, but it, you know, I have other stuff to do right now. This is actually so easy to do that, you know, you'll set up split test in a few minutes and you'll you'll get a result, and it's actually encouraging and it makes you want to do more of it, right? In your experience, and maybe another thing, Shane, yep. uh, do do you recommend? Like, I see there, you've got the ribbon, which is the one that goes at the top. You've got the light box. Mm -hmm. You've got widgets. You've got post footers. You've got slide ins. In your experience. Mm -hmm. Do you find that having all of them increase conversions or is it, I mean, is this why you've created this so that you can go and you can test it out? Okay, what happens when we've got this going exactly. on there? We've got this going on here. Is it actually giving us better conversions? Is it not? Is that data that you can get from this? Like, can I see, okay, yeah. I've got a ribbon and I've got a light box. Like, what are my conversions like? What are my conversions like with yeah. a post footer and a light box? So, exactly. So for First of all, we have very extensive reporting, so you can see, you know, you can see which forms are leading to how many conversions. You can see, um, you know, who's ba who basically who's signing up, when they're signing up, where they're coming from, and so on. Uh, you can also do a comparison where you can see, you know, basically see which forms are doing what, basically, right? So once you set all this up, you will have the data to see, okay, what's working, what isn't. But also, and perhaps more importantly, you can even test these against each other. So you can say, I'm going to test a light box against the slide and to actually find out which one works better. Um, and, you know, in general, because here's the thing, look, in general, uh, I can give you some best practice. I can say, look, okay, a more relevant offer displayed in a more intrusive way is usually going to lead to higher conversions, right? So a light box that pops up in the middle of the screen and it's like, pay attention to me and covers everything is usually going to lead to higher conversions than a ribbon which is kind of shy at the top of the screen. But one of the most dangerous things you can do as a marketer is think that you already know all the answers. And that's why all these options are here. It's because, listen, I don't know your audience. I don't know your website. 
What I do know is that if you test, you can find out what works best for you. So maybe you figure out, okay, for my site, what I want to do is I, have, I want to have a ribbon with an offer across my site, and then I want to have slide-ins for specific categories, or maybe what works best for you is if you have a light box, or maybe you want to combine a widget and a post footer, whatever, right? The point is you can test and find out what actually works best. Yeah, good, good point, very good point. Cool. All right. So I think, yeah, I think for for the demo, I think for more extensive demo, we we can just use the the video that I that I made, which shows this in a bit more detail and with a faster connection. Sure. Yeah. And we'll and we'll have that underneath the uh, the interview on on mikeformain com, so you all can see uh, the the more extensive demo there. There we there you are, Shane. We finally we finally get you here uh, in, right. in real life. Uh, cool, man. Um, one thing I like to ask is. The reason why we have these tools is so that we mm. can make more money from them. So I like to ask, what's the fastest way that someone can use this tool and start making more money with it? What action steps could they take to, to be mm. able to, to start seeing results as soon as possible? Well, assuming that you start from zero, what you should do is you should start by creating a catch-all offer, right? So creating one offer that you're going to show on, on your entire website and start just testing that. Because testing, you know, having different offers is one of the most powerful things you can do to build your list and make it more profitable. But it also takes more time, right? So what I would recommend is that you start with, with a catch-all offer, with one offer that says, you know, whatever, here's a free case study or something or other that you get for signing up. You show that everywhere and you just start testing different copy and different designs against each other to see how you can get higher conversions on this catch-all offer. Now, while these tests are running, you start looking at what are your highest traffic posts, what are your highest traffic categories, like, you know, where do you have the greatest potential on your site, essentially? To, to get uh, more traffic. And in some cases that will be, you might see, okay, there's, there's a certain category of post or there's a certain type of post that generally gets a lot of attention compared to others. In some cases it might just be like you have maybe one or two posts that get most of the traffic. And in those cases, you can, I encourage you to go ahead and actually make an individual offer for that, you know, for each individual post where you go, okay, how can I make an upgrade just for this post that will, uh, entice people to opt in. So yeah, so basically step one, create a catch-all offer, start testing to increase conversions on that. Step two, look for uh, where are your highest leverage points, right? Where are your greatest leverage points um, where you can start making more specific offers and then same thing, right? You create the offer, you build the forms, you display them and you create a test start running that test. So now you're kind of already increasing your conversions on two levels, right? You're testing on two levels. And then you just keep repeating that. Now, the, the other thing is, if you're not getting that much traffic, uh, one of the things, one of the reports in Thrive Leads is the, is the referral report, which basically shows you where is your highest converting traffic coming from, right? So which URLs, which websites, and so on, are your leads actually coming from? which is more important to know than where your actual traffic is coming from, right? So that's another thing where as soon as you install Thrive Leads and you start using it, it will gather this data. So once you have this data, you can see, okay, where is my, you know, where's my valuable traffic coming from? And you can start asking yourself, how do I get more of it, right? Because you might think you're, you're so, getting all kinds of traffic from, from Facebook and you're focusing on your Facebook marketing, but actually none of, that, none of those people... Are, are opting into your email list. They're not, they're not yeah, taking exactly. you up and, and getting into your sales funnels and whatnot. So, and you think that you need to keep on focusing on it because you see all the traffic, but really it's the conversions yeah. that you want to be focusing on. Exactly, yeah. And I've, and I've seen this as well. I've seen this, you know, where, um, yeah, I'll get a traffic spike from, from a guest post or something, but nobody signs up. Uh, but then there might be another, you know, someone, I get a mention on a website, it's not even a big deal. But I get a dozen subscribers, and I'm like, hold on a second. If I if I guest posted there, or if I somehow reached out to that person, they clearly have my audience, right? So that's time much better spent. So yeah, that's that's kind of the the other thing that you can start doing um, once you have a few tests running. Once you're gathering that data, you can you can also use Thrive Leads to figure out where to get better traffic. 
when people come to the sales page, I know there's a, a few options that they're going to have. Can you quickly touch on, on those? Okay, so for um, during the launch period, there's actually an exception that we're making. During the launch period, there are three license levels you can get. You can purchase a single site license that just installed on one WordPress website. You can get a personal license for unlimited use, which means you can install it on all your own websites. And then you can also get an agency license at a one-off price, and this will only be during the launch period. So uh, with the agency license, you can use it on client websites as well. So if you, if you build websites for your clients, you can install Thrive Leads for them as part of your service. Um, and that's actually available at a one-off price during the launch period only. Normally, that's um, a recurring price. So usually okay. to get agency level, you have to pay a yearly fee for that. But during the launch week, you can actually get that at a one-off price. Yeah. Okay. And the launch is going to go from Tuesday uh, until until the next two, the following Tuesday. Like when, yeah. when is that going to be cut off? The following Tuesday. Yeah. The following Tuesday. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And. What about upsells, one-time offers, whatever you want to call them, enhancements? What, what are they going to see inside yeah. that, that sales funnel? Well, the, we only have one upsell, which is the membership, right? We have the Thrive Themes membership, which is a very simple offer. You just get everything we do at one price, okay? So I know, you know, basically fellow marketers tell me I shouldn't do this. What I should do is I should have an upsell with a the product, then another upsell with a the product, and then so on, right? Until you uh, give up in exasperation. Sure. We don't do that, Okay. Basically, there's two things. You can buy our products individually. So you, you pay one price, you get the product, that's it. Or you can become a Thrive Themes member and you just get everything. You get all of our themes, you get Thrive Content Builder, you get Thrive Landing Pages, you get all of our future themes, all of our future plugins and so on. Which is really a ridiculously good deal, which is also why we, we're increasing the price on that too, uh, right after the launch, because it's really too cheap right now. Um, so yeah. That's, uh, that's the only upsell. It's basically you can say, okay, I want everything else as well, and you get a special offer on that. We can just get all our themes and all our, all our other cool stuff at one price. So they'll, they'll get access to, and I mentioned before how I use your, your Thrive uh, content builder, landing page builder on, on mikeformain.com. Will they get access to that as well, being that it was a past yes. product? Okay, so they get that as well. Cool. Yes. Cool, very cool. Well, Shane, Thank you so much for coming on the show today and uh, getting through the slow internet connection here. I, I yeah. appreciate that. Is there anything else, uh, anything that we didn't touch on, anything that you wanted to mention before we wrap it up? Well, I think I think we we covered all the basics. I, I one thing I want to say is that you know building a mailing list. One of the things that a lot of people I've heard a lot of people say some variation of I wish I'd started sooner with building a mailing list, right? Yeah. And I just, you know, don't be one of those people. Like if, if you're listening to this and you haven't started doing this yet, don't be one of those people. Don't, you know, a year from now, you're either looking at a mailing list and you're like, oh my God, this, this is so good. Or you're going, oh no, that was too complicated. And you're chasing some other fad. And like, yeah, who do you want to be a year from now, right? I, I'm, I'm right now, I'm sitting in Bangkok. Why? Because winter was too cold for me in Europe, so I decided to come here instead. Now, if I didn't have a mailing list, I couldn't do this, okay? <laughs> like, that's, I mean, it, and I'm serious about that. It's not like the mailing list is the solution to everything, right? But the mailing list is the most important channel through which we market stuff. If I didn't have a list of customers, I wouldn't be in Bangkok right now. I would be back in Switzerland, and I would probably be flipping burgers or something because I couldn't sustain myself, right? Like, I, it can barely be understated how valuable this is. And, yeah, don't be one of these people. Don't be one of these people who keep putting this off for some reason. I don't know why people do that, but so many people put this off. Um until at some point you see the light and you start building a list and you go, oh yeah, this is what I should have done all these years ago. So, you know, this is an opportunity to get started. Shane, thanks again so much for coming on and best of luck with your launch. Thank you very much, Mike. I hope you enjoyed the interview today with Shane. If you are interested in picking up Thrive Leads, come back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern on Tuesday, February 17th you're going to be able to grab it along with my special bonuses. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.